the David Moore drama at Twitter. It's one thing to be fired from your job, that's bad enough. But to be fired via email, that's another, oh. that's the next level. Yeah, this is uh, playing out like some crazy reality TV yeah, show. You yeah. can't make this stuff up. So with Twitter, the latest is that it's temporarily closed its offices worldwide mm -hmm. and that it's also cut off its workers' access to its system. So they can't log in. Uh, and by that, some uh, workers have assumed they've probably already been fired because of that. They can't work, access their work email. Uh, so Twitter uh, has told its workers they'll receive an email uh, that'll cover whether they'll still have a job or not. And uh, they were meant to have received that by 3 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time a deadline which has already passed. Now, Twitter employs 7,500 people worldwide and Elon Musk, the new owner, is looking to cut half of them in a ruthless cost-cutting exercise. And uh, it'll be affecting a wide range of functions from engineering, communications, content creation, and Australian staff have also been affected as mm -hmm. well. And it's the latest in a series of firings. On day one in the last week or two, when Elon Musk became the owner of Twitter, he fired the CEO, chief financial officer, and the head of legal who was responsible responsible for the decision to ban Donald Trump from Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, on top of that, uh, there's more. There's now a lawsuit that's been filed in the US courts in a San Francisco federal court where five Twitter workers, some current, some former, are alleging that the company uh, failed to give them enough notice before they got laid off. So under US law, an employer needs to give 60 days or two yeah. months notice uh, when there's a mass layoff going on. But it seems Elon Musk has given them one week tops uh, by the sound of things and they're seeking appropriate notice of dismissal and uh, severance pay. Mm -hmm. Now, ever since he took over, Musk has been clearing house at Twitter, and now he says that this uh, Twitter has suffered a massive drop in revenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So uh, that's according to the words of Elon Musk himself in a recent tweet. So he did use those words, massive drop in revenue, uh, because advertisers have been pausing their spending, uh, essentially a, a boycott from some major advertisers, but he didn't give uh, any uh, particular numbers on how massive it is. Uh, so he's blamed this on activist groups, uh, pressuring mm -hmm advertisers and he said that Twitter's done everything it could to appease them. He also didn't say who these activist groups were and he's accused them of waging a war on free speech which is a pretty sensational comment. Uh, as for the advertisers who've paused their advertising, there are some big names here. The latest is Volkswagen, uh, the car company. Its brands include Audi, Lamborghini, Porsche and uh, Bentley. And on top of that, in the last week or so, General Mills, the US cereal company, has also uh, paused its advertising as well as General Motors, another massive car company. So all in all, a very chaotic start to Elon Musk's reign of the social media company. Yeah.